guys, Riske here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, so last we left off, uh, Rebecca died, so that was sad. Um, I think we still have the baby. We're going to the, uh, the place of the guy who we thought was we were robbing him. Anyway, I'm a little zooted. Please forgive me, and I'm trying to remember what all happened last time. So let's just go ahead and jump in and just stop talking about it. <laughs> here we go. Which we should be finishing this up tonight, and I'm really excited. <sighs> wait up! Wait! We need to stop. No! No, I'm I'm fine. Okay, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. Alright, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you! I say stop. You'd best stop! Kenny! He understands! Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. Sorry, I just need to say, I don't need to start this game up and Kenny's already on a 10. Like, can we take it down to at least a seven? Preferably a five. Anyway. <sighs> Lord. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. I guess I should work on that. I've noticed that, too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. How did we get here? Try not to think about it. Sitting in the snow, lean up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with, just gone. Nick. Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. what I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Trying to guess how far this place is. I'd like to get off this leg sooner than later. Yeah, <sighs> nothing important. 
Okay. You don't gotta tell me if you don't want to. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Cause I think I'm alright. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. I told her I'm fine. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. Alright. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I am scared. I am so scared. So how does it look? Is it going to be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. I got even with him. I mean, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but this is going to be torture. <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm sorry, Kenny. Ugh. So, I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. Let's do it. So, this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. I'm not sugarcoating shit. Nuh uh. Oh, oh, this hurts. Oh. Holy fucking hell. Mm. You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. I know I'm right. I'm sorry, Kenny. Uh, sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man... Is that smart? He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. Yeah. That shouldn't have been the case. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. Alright. The worst part's over. He did that pretty well. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Sounds like a plan to me. Whew. That was intense. Miles to go. Love it. Why is Jane still here? <laughs> I'll stop being better. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? 
It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. It's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it. I knew this was going to happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh... See if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that'd work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remembered. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. Was saving it for a special occasion, and while well, it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, 
Let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. I'm not sure about her anymore. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey! Alright, all right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. The both of you. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I doubt it. Thanks a lot, Clem. No, I I don't mean it like... It's okay, Luke. She's just not impressed. Apparently not. Come on, Clem. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Okay, well first I wanna look around. Let's see. It's so much nicer by the fire. <clears throat> um good sign. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. That's true. That's true. It's the little victories in life. Look at Transformer. Robots and disguise. I miss TV. It feels like forever since we had electricity. Yeah, yeah, I imagine that's probably not working as well. What up, Kenny? There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just, uh... Needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. No, it's true. But I... I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. 
I thought I enjoyed that time away from him, from my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Duck. To touch Koch's face. Anything in the world. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. Boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright. I'm good. I, I have to talk to her. Ugh. I don't want to. I'm going to put it off and just do it in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.